For those of us who've lived in the area a while, you've likely had an encounter with one at some point. And if you're new here, your first one, well, it'll be a story you'll remember. Oh, yeah. We're talking about copperheads, and this is a time of year when the snakes are on the rise. WNCN's Bo Minnick joins us live from Raleigh with a look at who's been getting bitten in recent weeks. Bo. Hey there, Sharon and Sean. You know, you look at a spot like this and you might not put a whole lot of thought to it. There's some high weeds over here. There's some leaves off there in the distance, but this is a perfect hiding spot for a copperhead. And that's a snake that has enough venom in it that it can send a person to the ER and send a pet to the vet's office. It's over on this side right here. It's a dangerous job, but someone's got to do it. Joseph Herring with Carolina Wildlife Removal is on Copperhead Patrol. He's hidden. Another ambush predator. Herring helps remove all types of critters, including the venomous snakes. We went to the Museum of Natural Sciences to get a safe look at one in captivity. But at Janice and Colin Moore's home in Raleigh, it's not as safe. A copperhead is somewhere in this rock pile. Last week, one bit their puppy, Josie, right on the dog's mouth. Josie was out rummaging around in the yard, and she yelped, pulled her head back. She was sniffing around the uh, stack stone wall and uh, she was bitten by a copperhead. Little Josie recovered after some antibiotics and steroids. We've now seen three in a matter of a week. Copperhead bites are usually really painful, so your pet's not gonna want you to touch them near that area or let you examine it. Veterinarian Jennifer Schultz tells us it seems like a daily occurrence that pets come to the Animal Emergency Clinic of Cary with copperhead bites. If your dog goes out in your fence backyard, you wanna make sure you clean out any brush piles, keep your grass mowed so there's not tall areas or logs or leaf piles that the snakes can hide in you. As for the Moore's yard, the hidden snake stayed hidden, but Herring will be back. I can put down a, uh, what's called a glue trap that'll catch him humanely. They're here in North Carolina and they're all over the place, so something you got to deal with. And it's true, copperheads are in all 100 counties here in North Carolina. Their bites can sometimes be fatal to pets, though. It's rare that that would happen. And, of course, any time a copperhead bites a person, that person's going to need immediate medical attention. Guys, I'll send it back to you. I hope I never encounter one. Bo, thank you. <laughs> Parts of North Carolina still dealing with the 